course, last week we spoke to the Northwest Chamber of Commerce and uh, it had been warning for some time now of a tick and time bomb, that's what they call it, over illegal foreign traders. What is being done on the ground? Well, I'm joined now by uh, Kinesu Musenori, Northwest Economic Development, MEC, about this particular uh, issue. And MEC, thank you so much for your time. Good morning to you. Let's talk about it. Last week we had a conversation with the Northwest Chamber of Commerce. They raised an issue that they've been trying to get an audience uh, with government with regards to what they call a ticking time bomb with the amount of illegal foreign nationals who have businesses within the province. I mean, what is your take on this? Are you aware of this issue as well as what business is saying within the province? Um, thank you very much. Um, I'm aware and we are having regular interactions with the Northwest um, Chamber of Commerce. And they did indicate that they had conducted the study, which revealed the, the statistics that they had referred to in their interview at the time. However, one have not he had fight of that report. But the, 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 the major challenge, I would argue, that it's more in the informal sector. And, 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 and that's where there's a need for us as government to, to ensure that uh, we regulate uh, the informal sector and that everybody who trades um, needs to have permits and also um, ensure that they comply with the necessary bylaws, including the provincial legislation and national legislations thereof. So it's not necessarily directed at foreigners, but all informal businesses need to do that. As it relates to, to foreign and nationals owning business, um, I'm sure all of us, we are aware that um, anybody who is compliant has to follow the South African law. Uh, there's nothing prohibiting them from conducting business in South Africa, mm. as long as they follow the necessary uh, policies, legislation, and that at the time of their operation or start of the business, uh, they do that within the South African law. Right. So, MEC, for those who are clearly not complying at this point, both, uh, you know, foreign nationals, and I think the Northwest Chamber of Commerce made a point to reiterate that it's the illegal foreign nationals that they had uh, issue with, and those who are South Africans and also not complying, what are you currently doing uh, about those concerns and those issues right now? We normally conduct uh, compliance inspections, which is not just the department. We do it with um, the Department of Home Affairs, so the immigration side. We do it with other regulatory bodies um, in different premises where, where it depends also on the sector. Uh, we do it with also the municipality itself, uh, both the district municipality because they come uh, all of them have different uh, competencies or functions to perform in uh, those um, regular ins or random inspections mm. that are being conducted. Obviously, there are planned inspections. All the regulatory bodies, they will have inspectors from time to time conducting an uh, inspection to check the level of compliance in, 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 in different business premises. But the random inspection, inspections that I stated that we conduct them also with the uh, Multi, it's a multi-sectoral uh, uh, inspection. It's, it's there where we would identify that um, here we have either um, a South African company in some cases employing also um, a foreigners without necessary documentation. And that's where the Department of Home Affairs will come in. And in areas where they are not part of the inspections, obviously we have to alert them and, 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 and make necessary steps and involve the law enforcement mm. uh, to to the necessary steps take place um, to to avoid but what is important is to also educate our society is to educate our society that uh, it is wrong for us to employ or, or even ourselves as as consumers wherever we go to different business premises right. we must ascertain that we are in the right compliant 
um, a business premises that is compliant with the South African law. Because we have a, because I have a few this, seconds this, left this, with you, Emmys, and I apologise for, for jumping in. I have less than 30 seconds with you. Um, I, I'm, I'm asking this because y y just last week, the Northwest Chamber of Commerce said they've been speaking to business on the ground and it seems they are threatening uh, to conduct xenophobic attacks. Are you aware of this and are you concerned as a government that this might take over the province? And if so, what are you doing to ensure that we don't see uh, xenophobic attacks due to this issue? Obviously, we will be concerned as government. And when we get a tip off of this nature, there's a provincial joint where all the law enforcement agencies are part of and obviously um, other um, services that are on the ground so that the necessary actions and plan can be in place to avoid a, such an incident where there can be a xenophobic attacks. Uh, in Northwest, obviously, there's been limited activity. It, 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 it has not been as widespread as in other provinces. Uh, we are on the alert and, and will try by all means as government working with the prof joints to avoid uh, the attacks. All right, we leave it there. Judy Tamba, MEC, I appreciate you speaking to us this morning. Uh, MEC, Kinesu Musenori, Northwest Environmental, of course, uh, and Economic Development, rather, uh, MEC, joining us there. And, and, and Gareth, we have to continuously raise this point because we have it on record mm -hmm. where the Northwest Chamber of Commerce did say uh, that they've been hearing of businesses on the ground threatening to take action. I think when we look at Gauteng, when we see the likes of Operation Dudula, uh, these, of course, are groups that have gathered and they're saying they're taking matters into their own hands if government does not act decisively. Yeah, that's right. I even uh, threw the name of Fentersdorp in there mm -hmm. uh, as well, just a couple of days ago as well. So it's not just uh, generally speaking, they're actually giving clear indications of where their concerns are as well. So it's good to hear from the MECs right. what their plan is. How are they going to engage? How do they have to handle this? Mm -hmm. It has to be done legally uh, as well. So we're going to keep following this yeah. uh, operation throughout the week. But we're heading up to